Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. This is a rectangular partial wall built in place underground, which is an underground concrete wall. These walls are built in panels, each panel is interlocked to ensure structural stability and water tightness. The advantage of the diaphragm wall construction is that it is relatively quiet, can be constructed at great depths and can especially be built on many different types of soil. So what is a retaining wall? The diaphragm wall is a rectangular partial wall built in place underground, which is an underground concrete wall. These walls are built in panels, each panel is interlocked to ensure structural stability and water tightness. The diaphragm wall can have a thickness of 0.6 to 1.5 m with a width of 2-3.5 m. The diaphragm wall can be constructed at a depth of 60, 80 m and is used in basements, high-rise buildings, wharf walls, port and in metro station. In fact, depending on the hardness of the soil and rock, the use of mechanical buckets, hydraulic buckets, and continuous cutting buckets for excavation work is most favorable. The use of the rotary milling action is well suited to the needs of breaking up soil and, with careful selection of drums and teeth, for digging hard rock. The hydrophrase methodology requires a plant capable of treating 450 cubic meters per hour and removing the spoil from the support fluid so that it can be reused. During the excavation of the diaphragm wall, the pentanite solution is continuously pumped into the excavation hole to ensure the stability of the excavation wall. The solution height is always guaranteed to be equivalent to the current ground level and not lower than 50 cm compared to the top of the leading wall. Next, they will crane and lower the steel cage for each wall panel. A seamless steel cage with the size for the whole wall will be constructed at the construction site. After that, they will dredge the excavation hole and install the steel cage formwork that will be hoisted into the excavation hole and concreted the excavation pit. The process of pouring concrete is poured through a pipe with a diameter of 250 mm through the steel cages down to the excavated hole. Pipes are connected from sections with a length of 2, 3 m then concrete will be poured through this pipe and started pouring from the bottom of the excavation pit. When the concrete reaches the top, the pipe will be pulled up there, but always ensure that the concrete is submerged 3M deep in the concrete so that the concrete is not contaminated by the pentanite solution until the concrete is filled into the excavation hole. The wind is the developer of the most capable trenching technology in the world. In the video is a project to build a 32 km long border wall with the US and Mexico at a cost of $73.3 million. The fence is at least 5.4 meters high, some 9.1 meters high depending on the terrain. The top 1.5 meters are covered with metal plates to prevent migrants from climbing up. Concrete is poured deep into the ground to prevent the possibility of digging holes through the fence. Since this is an uninhabited area and is completely isolated from residential areas, there are many restrictions on water resources and transportation of materials. The foundation of the building is continuously excavated by the machine so as not to interrupt the concrete pouring process. After the concrete foundation has stabilized, another contractor will cut down the center of the foundation to install the wall panels that will later be embedded in the concrete. High-performance rock trencher for mid to big size pipelines, the 1475 XL EVO is one of the largest Tesmec chainsaw trencher, belonging to the 100 metric ton class. Trenchtronic 5.0 equipped, this 630 horsepower powered unit can dig trenches for big diameter pipe up to 16, 488 centimeters deep in the toughest conditions. 1475 XL EVO chainsaw combines high chain pull and low chain speed thanks to its upgraded flywheels gearboxes and new hydraulic components.
1475 XL EVO chainsaw combines high chain pull and low chain speed thanks to its upgraded flywheels gearboxes and new hydraulic components. The Rockhawk version of the 1475 XL EVO model has been designed for continuous surface mining in rock, where its 13 feet 9 inches 420 centimeters wide drum is employed in bulk excavations projects, open pit quarries, mining in very large diameter pipelines. 1475 XL EVO RH allows vertical walls and square corners cutting, thanks to the rear mounted drum larger than the truck. Equipped with Trenchtronic 5.0, the 1475 XL EVO RH is Tesmec's largest surface miner featuring a 630 horsepower engine. It can work up cutting or down cutting by simply changing the attachment. 1475 XL EVO RH combines high chain pull and low chain speed thanks to its upgraded flywheels gearboxes and new hydraulic components.